Hi, I'm Brady Sexton. I own Scratch Kitchen and Cocktails in Norman and in Oklahoma City. Um, I've been friends with Amber Kluwer for a long time, and we've been through many happy hours together. Everyone who knows Amber knows how much she loves happy hour. So she has tasked me with a better way to happy hour with her should you be dragged to one. Uh, so we have some ideas uh, of a drink that will be probably pretty safe for any diabetic. To help me out, uh, Chandler Ryan, our bartender and actor extraordinaire, is going to mix the drink for you. Hi. So first up, I'm going to mask up because the times are up. So what we're going to do with the Manhattan, it's a pretty simple recipe, and an easy way to remember it is the area code of New York. So it's going to be 212. We're going to start with a bourbon. We're going to use our 1907 bourbon. Brady, you want to talk a little bit about this? Yeah, I will. 1907 is a, a blended bourbon by a friend of ours in Tulsa, Oklahoma at OK Distilling. Um, he also makes our old fashioned for us, which you can see a bottle of over there. Uh, it's important to use uh, bourbon uh, whiskeys from places you can trust. I would not recommend uh, for diabetics to use any whiskey from Canada unless you know um, for a fact that it's really well made. Um, a lot of whiskeys have added caramel color and added sugars if they're not made in America where we regulate that. Plus, it's patriotic to buy American. So she added a, a, an ounce of sweet vermouth as well. Sweet, uh, one ounce of sweet vermouth has about 35 calories, so it should be fairly safe. And then she added uh, cherry bark vanilla bitters from Bitter Cube, which is a kid from Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, his company he makes in Milwaukee. Again, a company we know that we can trust. There's no added sugar in that. It's all real ingredients that he uh, mashes up and, and makes into bitters. So she's just going to stir this. Um, you'll see her test in a minute. Um, and you'll do that at home as well. She's really good at stirring. I'm not so much good at it, but it doesn't really matter. You don't want to hear the ice clanking around. You really want to make sure the outside of your spoon is on the outside of the glass and you're just stirring to spin the, the ice. So a lot of people think that when you um, stir a drink or shake a drink, you're doing it to make it cold. It's not true, we're adding water, which is a very important ingredient in a balanced cocktail. So as the ice melts, we want to make sure we have just the right amount of water in our cocktail. Um, so we did two ounces of the bourbon, and then we did an ounce of vermouth and two bitters. That was our two on two. And then this is optional. Optional uh, brandy cherry. Um, I guess if you're only having one today, you could probably handle that. Now she's just going to strain. And enjoy. Perfectly balanced Manhattan. Cheers. If you have not tasted, make sure it tastes wonderful.